Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the top stocks to watch October 2020. So I hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys get anything in value out of this video, please pay me with a huge like. It's greatly appreciated and make sure you guys go ahead and check out my course. It's only $5. You guys will learn fundamental technical analysis, how to find undervalued stocks, how to retire and overall how to properly do taxes. So it's only $5. It's going to be the first link down below. So go ahead and check it out. So now let's jump into it. The top stocks for this month. Let's go. Bam. Alrighty guys, so the very first stock here that I am keeping on watch here is GoPro. Now GoPro really like to use this 200 moving average line as resistance. You guys can see that almost any time it's hit it, we had some sell off, came in contact with it here, we got sell off, here sell off, and recently we had a break above it, and when it breaks above it, we have extreme buying pressure. You guys can see that when the stock broke above it, the stock went up around 35% all time highs, but really fell down a little bit, so up around 10%. Now recently we did get some sell off here just by the overall recession. Stock fell down all the way to about $3.75 before getting some buying pressure. And now we did get another break of this 200 moving average line. And the last time it's done it, we've had extreme buying pressure like in here. So I'm actually really kind of excited to see what happens with this overall uh, stock. If it falls down here, it could also use it as a support line, you know, because stocks have tendencies to use uh, moving average lines as support and resistance. So if we get some overall support for this stock, I think that this could bounce all the way up to around $5 per share. That is kind of my price target for this one. But overall, it's a good one to keep on watch here, and I think there could be a poss possible uh, swing trade. Now the next one here is NIO, also known as NIO. Now recently the stock hit all time highs as of today. It is up around 1.7%. I think that this is a pure momentum run and I think the momentum could continue. Um, looking at it, beautiful upward trend. Now looking at the RSI, it has traded in the past above an 80. So realistically it's trading at a 67 right now. So the overall trend could continue. Whether we get a little sell off tomorrow, I think that this stock could definitely come up to about $26 per share. Now looking at this stock also, you guys can see that there is no real resistance in sight. It did break above it here, so overall it could be using this old resistance as some support. Really, it's gonna be a telltale sign probably tomorrow or you know the next couple, you know, the next couple of days. But overall, it's a good one to keep on watch if the momentum continues great we can make money but overall cut your losses early with this one use the rsi as kind of that uh, strength and momentum indicator now the next one here is bank of america ticker symbol bac the reason why i'm keeping this one on watch is because they are going to be announcing their earnings this month i think that if their earnings goes well i think we could possibly get a break above this 200 a moving average line. You know, I, I kind of understand that anytime it's broken above it within the next couple within the next couple of days we get some sell off here. But I think with a solid earnings report we could get an overall trend direction. And that's really what I'm looking for here. But overall the stock is still on a short term upward trend which is really strong meaning that there are gonna be more people that are rooting for this stock rather than trying to short or sell this stock, which is really good. But overall I would love to see a break of around twenty six dollars um, for me to really be interested in this position here, you know, not to mention it is on this um, short term support line as of right now. So there could be a possible, you know, swing trade from around 24 to 26. Uh, it's hitting that support and overall, if you cut your losses early at around 22, it would be a good, you know, uh, risk to reward ratio. Now the next company that is also announcing their earnings is Ally Financial. You know, looking at this one, we have a little better chart here. The trend is overall stronger uh, than Bank of America, but I still think that this stock could continue to come up and break out of this resistance. I think that if the overall earnings goes well, we could have a resistant breakout from 26, hitting highs at around probably $30 per share. So there could be a nice little $5 window of opportunity. Not to mention long-term play, this stock pays a solid dividend here. You guys can see around 19 cents per quarter and it slowly increased it year after year, which is actually really strong um, to see. The next stock here that I am keeping on watch is the one and only Apple. Here you guys can see that this stock did get some temporary sell-off. 
So I'm really ex kind of excited to see if we can get an overall breakout of this uh, 118 area. Now looking at it, you guys can see that it is slowly creeping up here. It fell extremely hard just because this was a pure FOMO run. A lot of people didn't want to miss out on this opportunity and there was a lot of bag holders and overall the stock got slammed. And now Apple is one of those companies where anytime it dips down within the next couple of weeks, we do get buying pressure. And overall, it's still a perfect long-term play. My price target for this is around 125. Um, overall, this one here is a perfect one that you could buy and not check it day to day. You could check it, you know, every month or you know every two months. You know, Apple is a very very strong company, and if you invest in it, understand that there is always a good future for it. You know, they have a ton of money in cash. They make a ton of money. Nothing to be too worried about, in my opinion. But a company here that I am honestly kind of excited to see what happens is Tesla. Very similar scenario. Uh, they did do that split, which made a lot of people want to get into this position. There was a lot of um, FOMO and emotion in this stock, and overall it made this stock extremely, extremely volatile. You guys can see it hit $500, sold off here to $335 before kind of getting bought up here. But overall, short-term trend is down, so there could be a possible uh, breakout of this resistance here. I'm honestly kind of gonna just kind of use this and just keep it on watch. I'm not sure really where my price target is. I would love to see the stock hit highs again, but I think we're gonna need um, either good earnings or some sort of fundamental catalyst to get this stock moving again, because a lot of people are just kind of holding it like myself, I am holding it. And you know, I'm just kind of excited to see what happens uh, with this one. So that is it though, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and overall, stay safe out there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, the course is down below. Five bucks, check it out. Roll the outro, let's go. Right here.